come from like a religiously uh, devout family. So you know how it is, bro. You know, you gotta go, you know, she's like, nah, you know, my family. I, actually, I don't know how it goes. Let's not assume, but yeah. Know. Well, basically, like, it's, it's just hard, you know, like the whole, the, like I have to go through the like OG methods of like my mom or my dad, you know. Oh, hi, you know, I couldn't see you. You know, and then I, I see her and I'm like, oh. And then if I do like a girl, I have to go and like meet with the family, and then the family needs do to you like do me the whole first. Coffee yeah, thing? she's like shaking, like Stop. giving me the coffee and shit. Even in America, we do that in America. Okay. So how long have you been there? You were born there. I was there. born and raised. Okay. Yeah. So I, I like Middle East is kind of foreign, but when I came to Dubai, I'm like, why am I more Arab than the Arabs here? Like, what's going on? What Arabs? What are you talking exactly. about? Exactly. Y'all ain't even Arab. Y'all pot. Like, okay. If the if the Dubai Arabs had an English accent, it'd be one of those like posh English accents. You know, like, hello, I'm the Prince of Hellebay. Absolutely, I know. Now bring me my tea. No, no, sorry. Fetch me my tea, Fetch you me. insolent fool. Like, that's how I feel you guys are, you know? Right, right. So. But we tip really well, so that's it. Really? Do you guys? I thought tipping wasn't a thing in Dubai. Like, you're not supposed to tip. No, because, you know, you have to play the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to be like a badass. Okay, okay, all right, I get it, I get it, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, okay, clearly you're funny. A little bit. But how, I mean, you're, you're in Dubai Comedy Festival, you made that's it. That's true, that's true. You made it, you made it, you made it, take a bow, take a bow. So, when was it that you, you were like, okay, I'm not just the funny guy in the group, dude, I, people are gonna need to pay me to watch me be funny. When did that happen? So actually, I never even used to watch stand-up. Like stand-up wasn't a thing that I was raised with or knew about. Uh, I, I started making videos over a girl, to be honest with you. Like I was talking to this girl. You're Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift to the Arab. <laughs> exactly, legit. Like, I, and we're jealous, bro. A lot of men were jealous as hell. You know what I'm saying? So she kept on sending me these videos of like other Arabi viners, like, oh my god, he's so funny, like he's hilarious, like, and I'm looking, I'm like, bro, I could do better, like, I could do better. So then I made a video about how Arabs hunt mice and how white people hunt mice, and the difference is, you know, Arabs okay. go crazy, like, yeah. like, oh my god, you know, like, you know, let's be, let's be humane, protect yeah. yeah. So okay. it did well, yeah. and then I started doing more, yeah. And then people from the community started inviting me to like picnics and stuff. They're like, hey, you know, like, could you just come and like give us some stories? Okay. You know, like there was like a, cause I was, I was going to college at the time. So they had like a, you know, like a Arab student union. Something in the park, like events yeah, yeah, in the park. Exactly. Okay. So they invited me and I went and told like family stories. You know, everyone has family stories. And they were laughing. I'm like, oh shit. Like I'm actually, I'm actually like making them laugh. Were they laughing because they relate or were they laughing because you're funny? No, I think they were laughing because they probably relate to the stories, you know? So then I was like, okay, maybe I'm actually funny, funny. Like, you know, this is legit. So then I started like thinking of all the other stories that I can, you know, bring up. And then I started doing comedy. Like people would invite me to do comedy and then I just kill show after show and like not kill, like they're cracking up the whole time. It's like taking I don't know how that feels like, but I'm just saying. We are gonna cut that yeah. part out because we do not condone that. <laughs> but okay. like, literally, I, after after a great show, I'm like, like, let's just go do something. Yeah. Like that's the feeling, right? Yeah. So there's no better feeling because like when I post videos, because I do videos, I do accents and you stuff. You don't get the immediate gratification. It's, it's, it's or like the it's reaction. like when people, you know, they post LOL or LMAO or you're so funny or the emojis. Like it feels good, but when you see someone in front of you cracking up and like, you know, just acting crazy because of what you just said, there's no is better feeling. Is that how people and your audience oh, is always like yeah. that? So do you vibe off of people's energy? Like, are you, are you one of those people like, I'm here, I'm gonna do my set, and then that's it. So you have a set, you rehearse, you come, you deliver, or are you one of those, oh, they laughed at that, I'm gonna milk it. Yeah, so I'm definitely a vibes person. So like, if I, if I, if, if, if my jokes aren't hitting, I actually go into my head. I'm like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, yeah. But if my jokes are hitting, oh my god. It's like, a, it's like a, I turned on, yeah, it's crazy. Like, I just start flowing and I'm just like, you know, and I'll start improving shit. And that stuff that I improv is usually the best. Okay. Because, and I always, I don't record my stuff. I'm stupid, I'm, I know it's dumb, but that's usually the best stuff I do is when it's just off the cuff. It's like I already I've said this joke a thousand times, but then I add like another minute to it. Yeah. Because I'm just feeling good, and it's always gold. Yeah, yeah. Always. What something that you always fall back on? Because like you mentioned like family, and yeah. we always fall back on. Dude, my mom like she needs to chill. 
What is something that you know you fall back on and it's always a hit? I would say, I would say my, my mom story. She's like, a lot of my stories is about my mom trying to get me married. Like most of them, you know, it's, it's been, and I'm still not married. I'm freaking, I mean, I can't believe you're single, but hey. Like, exactly, not, right? Go ahead. Oh, well, thank you. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it's really, uh, it's, I feel like a lot of adults relate to it. Like the American audience may not relate to it as much because they're just out here, you know, ah, you know. But with the Arabs, it's like they all are, you know, as soon as you hit that 30. 30? You know. 12. Uh, yeah, for, for, yeah, for, for Arabic girls. It's, I'm it's the a, girl in the picture. Look. Baba, and I'm like, like, Ooh. <laughs> and you're like, she's 12. <laughs> yeah. She got, Where, Baba? I don't know. <laughs> this joking. is not natural. No, it's nice. But thank you. With your Smurf looking ass. It's your attention. <laughs> so you've, I, there's so many questions, right? But like, obviously, you, you have your show, and you've had your show, and, and, and you're doing this, and you've been here for the past four days. So many questions I can ask. Dubai, does it impress? Because this, you're talking about being from the U.S. and being at Aachen, and there's like a like a big community of Arabs here. But then you come here, and it's like, dude, Dubai is Dubai. Like you have, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but I'm accurate. Like 90 different nationalities. Yeah, it's, like it's, feels accurate. It's, it's not what I expected. To be honest. And and everybody, I think comedy is like a universal language, right? Like. We all talk about our parents, we all talk about relationships, we all talk about, uh, I don't know, trauma or making it funny. So how's it been for you? It's, it's been interesting because like my crowds are, like this is such a different crowd. Yeah. You know, I honestly came with the expectation that it's going to be Arabs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then I went in there and I'm like, yo, there's like three Arabs and they look whiter than the white yeah. people here. Yeah. So it's definitely an eye opener, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I like that because it's like, it's, it's a challenge, you know? It's uh, it's like if, if it was an Arabic audience, I wouldn't be worried at all. Okay. I'll kill it because okay. I know I know my. Arab. Do you tweak your content depending on your audience? I do, I do. So I, I'm gonna like the set I did yesterday. I'm tweaking it for today because I'm like, okay, that was a, for Arabic, you know. So and you like improv, so whatever worked yesterday, you're gonna add to it today, yeah. and you're probably gonna add to it later on. I want to leave you guys with one thing before I go. Quick song. It's a classic American song, but with an Arab twist. You guys ready? All right. <clears throat> oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Old McDonald, he had the farm, and on that farm he had big, big. Khanzeer Oink, oink, oink Thank you guys so much, I really appreciate it. Influences? Do you have like an influence? Not an influencer, but yeah. like a in, like Yeah, a so I would, say, uh, I would say in stand-up comedy itself, it yeah. would be, uh, it's kind of weird, random, but Cat Williams. Because I was raised in Detroit. But yeah, hey man! Little poor little tank tank, right? So like, I like his style because he's I'm I'm like that where I'm very uh, energetic, high energy. I'm acting out shit. I'm like you know moving whatever, but he's just so ratchet, you know. Like he's so, because I was raised in Detroit, so like, I see I've seen personalities like his, you know, and I always relate to that. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely not like like white comedians that are kind of like, doo -doo, yeah. you know, like one liners. I don't find it funny and I can't even do it. Right, okay. I can't even think of punchlines like that, you know? Yeah, because it seems like you relate a lot on your body. Yeah, yeah, it's all about body acting and... and what, what are your quirks, right? Because everybody needs to psych themselves, like hype themselves before they go on stage. Some people pray and some people rehearse and stuff. What do you do before going on stage? Well, before my mom passed away, I would call her before every show, and she'll oh, and she'll pray for me. And, she, okay. you know, and it, it would just give me like that that like oh, last. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's cute. I know. Yeah. I know. But so now I don't have that. I don't. I don't call my dad or my sister or anything like because I don't have that relation. I mean, I love them, but it's not the same. You know, like when I used to hear it from her, it was like, no matter what happens, I'm good. You know. Okay. So now I like, I honestly. Uh, before the show, I just kind of I like to be by myself. Okay. And just kind of like really 
you know, like, hey, bro, like, talk to myself. Like, you got this shit, man. Like, you got you've it. Done it. You've done it a thousand times. You do times. got it. Huh? You do got it. Oh, yeah. You oh, got yeah. it. Hell you yeah. Got, you made it to Dubai Comedy Festival, bro. Oh. You're you're in the same festival like Russell Peters, like, dead man. You that's made true. it. That's true. That's true. I'm, I Honestly, you don't understand. Like, this is my first. I've done hundreds. I've done shows in Michigan, and like, in America, actually. Like, 10,000 people, mostly Arabs, you know? But an international show, like, that's... That's something new on the resume. Well, it's definitely not gonna be the last time we have you. Oh, I hope I'm so. gonna make sure. I'm Thank gonna make you. sure. You, you better, you better. Oh yeah, just walk right through. I love it. Come on, get right again. Yep, yep, yep. Ooh. You got it. You got it. Yeah, girl. You keep on going. Yep. <laughs> beautiful. Hey, that was, beautiful. That was a commercial amazing. break. Was commercial break. All right. Other brands are available. Zara and H&M are not the ones. Anyway. But yeah, so I mean, but, I really do hope I can come back You again. will, though. And How I'll make know? sure. Oh, are you going to make I'll sure? I'll make sure. I know people. Oh, yeah. I know people oh, who know yeah. people. Palestinians, bro. They all, they're the we're realest everywhere. ones. Bro. They're the realest we're ones. We're everywhere. OG Palestinians. And if we're not everywhere, I know somebody who's exactly. there. Exactly. I'm going to call. I'm going to call a cousin, second cousin. We're everywhere. Hell yeah. So you're going to do great. You Thank did you. great. You're going to do great. I can't wait to see you. I hope I can get, get yes, to yes, catch please. you. Yes, please. I'd love to. I'd love like to get to get out of this heat. I know. Heat. I'm definitely. But you break a leg, break a toe, whatever you need to do. And um, thank you so much for chatting no to me. It was really amazing. You are you, you are too. a uh, very talented and well-spoken individual. Thank you very much. And beautiful. Thank you so much. <laughs>